Of all my wayward childhood memories, I will never forget one day in particular where my not yet fully developed cerebellum caused such a stir, and all the most important persons of our vicinity were in attendance to suffer the wrath of my unknowingness. You see, the local grape growers had sponsored a juice tasting festivity that did in no way manage to go as the planners had planned. The Garland brothers came early that day to set things up real nice-like. Their display was nothing short of a feast for the eyes. Marlin, huh? he was the charismatic one. And Reggie, Hi. Mm, not so much. Miss Josephine Lewis always was selling pie at these type events. Pie? She would offer her fine pie to every man that day. Pie? Pie. And the Garland boys could by no means get their fill of it. As usual, my brother and I were out and about and up to our shenanigans and no good. And while no eyes were on the great stomping stage, my brother and I made a fundamentally serious miscalculation. We simply did not know that grapes in the immediate company of sugar and yeast could produce such an inebriating concoction. Minutes later, and right on time, it was her. She pulled up in the most fancy four-door sedan my eyes had seen. And when her delicate foot touched the ground, it was as if the whole world had turned to wine. She was a beauty, bubbly, lively. And as she made her way across that lawn, she reminded me of a pretty little honeybee. And that vat, that vat was her flower, her rightful throne. Everyone was so excited. The undisputed stomping queen of Gullup County was quite a sight to see. Everyone got more excited. She put a hush on that crowd that made one man swoon. And Mayor Milroy had such eyes for her. I remember Mooney, of all people, being in charge of the music that day, which proved to be the final ingredient for utter chaos. One, two, three, four. Get from the 